Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you the common line arguments. Ok, let's get started. Uh, what is a common line argument? Actually, it's terminal argument. Ok, you start a program, I don't know, add it out, and you can tell something to the program. For example, write. Ok, and this will write something, or you can write it read and it will read something for example this is just an example of course uh, y if you use a terminal or common line a lot you have seen such a thing and if you don't write the correct number of argument it would give uh, usage of uh, how to give arguments to the program okay write this the common line argument is simple uh, two parameter into the main function so when it's an integer it how many arguments there are so int rgc it is argument count of course uh, you can rename it so how many arguments there are and a char pointer to an array uh, like rgv it is usually the same the names and the types always okay it is how many character uh, how many arguments there are and this is actually a matrix uh, which contains the arguments okay now just check how many arguments there are there are always at least one argument which is the name of the program okay if or c not equals or equals to one then write out usage program name usage program name and uh, argument one like that so we just write out something uh, okay now compile the program mm, g plus plus first dot uh, cpp run the program and it gives the usage of the program if we if i would uh, write something here for example Org, uh, org, then it will not give that. Okay, write out the argument. As we made a code block here, and uh, equals one because we don't want the program name to write out. I less than rgc and i plus plus so with a for loop we just write out all of the arguments we give so just write rg uh, rgv so the actual arguments and i and make a new line after every argument okay save it and uh, run uh, compile it and run it with two arguments okay that will be two argument and as you can see it write out the argument if you develop a common uh, or terminal or command line application this will be very useful for us because the user actually can tell you something how to use the program even in graphical programs there are uh, commands to start it with different uh, different uh, type or something uh, even if you we are going to program in gtk gim2 kit there the argument you have to give the argument to the gtk init function so it is not just uh, in case of terminal or command line application but it can be used in case of graphical application 
Okay, thank you for watching and have a great day.